What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Let's Ball with Call of Jubes 2K8. I'm your host, Flowin, aka J Dumont. Alright, so I've kind of readjusted my lineup here. I'm going to go through it. So we've got Marie and Webb each playing 38 minutes a game. Based on the uh, scrimmage, <clears throat> I changed this up a bit. So Doral's going to get about 22. I like Bucky. He's a hustle player. He's going to get about 24. You know what? Let's even do something like that. Get 26. He's a good hustle player. McElroy. Um, Ferdinand, I want to get a lot of minutes off the bench as a six man. Ledbetter deserves some minutes. He played well. Not crazy about Ernest Crisp. Not to talk crap about my own teammates, my own players. but And then Isaiah Hall and, I don't know, Raul Jimenez. They played really well in the scrimmage, so let's see what they got. I give them six minutes apiece, so we'll go ten deep. Let's see what happens. Um, <clears throat> we've got our training down for the week. Do we have practice? Alright, so after the season kickoff scrimmage, I think we just go to Sunday to the season preview show. We did our recruiting, we flew out to see everybody, so should we watch the 2K Sports preview show? Yes. Welcome to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with Clark Kellogg. We're here with the 2K Sports Season Preview Show. Here are the big five, the top teams in the country as we begin the season. The Kansas Jayhawks come in as the number one ranked team, followed by North Carolina, Memphis, Michigan State, and Louisville. Clark, Where's what's Duke? your take of the teams that make up the top five? These are some outstanding teams, Greg. Fun to watch, not many weaknesses. They do so many things well on the basketball court. It's not surprising that seeing them in the top five. Every time these teams take the floor, you're assured of seeing entertaining basketball. Kansas is in the catbird seat to start the season, sitting pretty in the number one spot. They had a nice finish to the year, but it ended with a disappointing loss in the regional final. They were so close to the final four, they could taste it. And the memory of that Elite Eight loss should be all the motivation they need this year to work just that little bit harder. We'll see if they can get over the hump this time. North Carolina is in the number two spot. They're a tough team, but they're going to have a very hard time surviving that vicious conference they're in. It's virtually impossible to go through a conference schedule unscathed. They'll probably take their lumps, but it might pay off come tournament time as tough conferences tend to produce tough teams. Memphis comes in as number three. Their total of 33 wins last season was remarkable. Winning that many games again is going to be extremely difficult, no matter how much talent they have. Not many teams play that many games, never mind win that many. They'll be on the verge of dynasty status if they repeat that performance. Michigan State starts the year as the fourth ranked team. Their tournament last year came to an abrupt end with a loss in the second round, Clark. It can be demoralizing for a team not to get past the first weekend of the tournament. But they've had all summer to forget about that loss and instead build on the positives from last season. Louisville is the number five team. They had a wonderful year last season, finishing with 24 wins. That 20-win plateau is one of those benchmarks in college hoops that immediately classifies you as an elite team. So they're going to have a tough act to follow. But if they simply play to their potential, they can reach that mark again. So let's shoot for 20 wins. Here's the next group of teams in our preseason top 25. Oh, Mark, What's your impression of that 10. set of teams? There's plenty of talent on these rosters, Greg. At any given moment during the season, one of these teams could get hot and go on a run and win it all. As a matter of fact, I think they all have a chance to be champions. The Duke Blue Devils, the number nine team, have been talked about quite a bit as we head into the season. Their dreams of tournament glory last year were quickly dashed in a first round loss. This year they have the potential to do much better than last. Last season they spent a lot of their energy getting to March Madness and were worn out once they got there. I'll bet they handled the journey to the tournament much better this time. 
the Kentucky Wildcats, the number 12 team, have also generated a lot of interest. This school has developed a reputation for having some of the most rabid fans in college hoops. Walking into their building is going to be a tough proposition for a lot of their opponents. They can get that place rocking, and I wouldn't be shocked if they lose very few, if any, games at home this season. Okay, Clark, let's take a look at the teams that close out the preseason top 25 poll. I didn't realize Marquette list, would be that high. This group and the previous group is depth. Plain and simple. They can match up with anybody at the start of the game, but due to a short bench, they just won't be able to keep up through the end. The Indiana Hoosiers, the number 20 team, could be one to watch. They rolled to second place in their conference last year in the regular season. As good as that sounds, I think it was a bit of a letdown for them. They wanted to come out on top, and they probably still have a sour taste in their mouths from not getting it done. The Florida State Seminoles, the number 19 team, are also worth keeping an eye on. They're ranked where they are because it's almost impossible to find anything wrong with this team. Nearly every team has an Achilles heel or a weakness, but this team is so well balanced, they're going to be a tough matchup for anybody. We now head to the part of the show where we break down the top players in the nation and show you our preseason All-American list. What you see before you is the cream of the crop in college hoops. What a list. What's your take on the first teamer at the top of the list, Clark? Madeira. He's a tremendous talent, Greg. What I like about him most is his ability to find the soft spot in an opposing defense and exploit it. And he can do it no matter how a defense chooses to play him. I have yet to see a team truly shut him down. As for Good our next first team, him. Tennessee is more than willing to go into battle with him, Clark. Stapleton really is an elite talent. That's a given. There's plenty to like about him as a player. He's got that deadly combination of smarts, and physical skills that makes him so difficult to defend. A coach's mentality in the body of a world-class athlete? Any questions as to why he's on the list? Next up is a player that's drawing comparisons to some of the all-time college greats. The Texas Tech Red Raiders are fortunate to have him in their corner. Bronson is a first-teamer without a doubt. He has such versatility. He can take it and rake it, get down the court with the ball and make plays. He'll be a nearly impossible matchup for their opponent. <laughs> move on to a player who oh, works very me. hard to earn his spot on the list. The North Carolina Tar Heels can depend on a solid effort from him each and every night. Panda is the anchor of his team, and if they're going to the promised land, he's the one that's going to lead them there. We always talk about the guys with great hands. Well, he's got great feet. I love those happy feet. There are few players in the nation with better footwork than him, and that's what allows him to always be in the right position, whether it comes to rebounding or finding space for an open shot. And finally, we have another superb player to round out the first team. The Georgetown wow. Hoya will probably get used to seeing him make the impossible look ordinary. For many, already has opposing coaches drawing up game plans designed to stop him. But it won't matter what they come up with. Give him too much room and he'll burn you off the dribble. Or play him tight and watch him find a teammate for an easy hoop. One way or the other, he's unstoppable. As we move to the second team, All-Americans, we can see there's no shortage of talent with this group. They're all elite players with the potential to dominate the game. The Virginia Cavaliers have built their team around this young man's talent. And I'd say that's a pretty good idea. Ka was a very hard player to leave off the first team. If I had to pick some front runners for the Player of the Year award, he would be right there on the list. I've seen him take over games even when he isn't scoring 30. There are some great scores among these All-Americans, and he's one of them. But he does much more than score. Our next player is a tremendous talent in his own right. Tennessee is in for a great year if he lives up to his potential. Spalding is someone you could look at as last season progressed and see his improvement on a weekly basis. I have no doubt he belongs on this All-American team, and I think the sky's the limit for him this season. We can expect to see some amazing performances out of him all year long. The Tennessee Volunteer hope to have this young man carry the load for them, and he looks up to the task. Chalet has terrific skill in so many facets of the game. It isn't out of the realm of possibility to say that he might even be a little bit underrated. I know it seems far-fetched to say that about a preseason All-American pick, but I'm not sure people realize just what a huge year he's in for, Greg. Our next All-American may have designs on the first team by the end of the season. Texas A&M has one of the most reliable go-to guys in the country in him. Rivers was one of the first players that came to mind when I was thinking of the top 10 players in the nation. The success of his team rests directly on his shoulders, and I believe he has the ability to take them all the way to the title. Here is the final player to cap off our oh, list the of all the deal with the UCLA too. Bruin know who their fan favorite is going to be this year. Harrington is last but not least on the All-American list. His upside is higher than a lot of the other guys here because he has so much raw ability. He could jump to the first team this year if he harnesses all that ability into the complete package. 
All right, Clark, that should do it for us here in the studio. For myself and all of us here at 2K Sports, thanks for watching our season preview. Enjoy all of the College Hoops action to come, everyone. All righty. So let's set our... Well, let's simulate it this day. Finalize rosters. I guess we can't get... Obasan in here, huh? Nope. <clears throat> so our 12 are set. Now we have to develop them. It's already in progress. Whoops. Now let's do bonus drills. Let's do a three point drill. Fort Marie. <clears throat> Give him the uh, ability to hit the three. It's a tough drill to complete, though. They all are. Step in the circle, bro. Defensive rebounding for Bucky Morissette. Defend the basket. Ball player do not allow the opponent to get an open shot. Oh, I picked post defense. All right. Oh, <laughs> hey. Do something. Oh, I'm getting rocked. I'm gonna grab rebound, bro. Oh my gosh. with that up and under every time. <sighs> Do something. Go 
good test. Six attempts left, we gotta get tricky here. Not gonna happen. Oh, block. Come on, do that again. If I get another great defense plus block. Oh, that should have been a block. Okay, now I know how to play D. You gotta hit that right trigger. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't want music in these scenes, but what are you gonna do? It's for copyright, I don't want them taking my videos down. Alright, so let's do some recruiting. We visited Staple, so let's. Demetra Staple, 6'10", senior. Let's scout one of his games. <clears throat> Charles DeWitt. Visit him at home. Jay Lagana. Oh. <coughs> Come on, Feist. Hmm. I request his game tape. Theodore Hawkins, 6'10", and can shoot. Give him a phone call. Mike Wells. Scout his game. Sanders, a phone call. Felder, a phone call. Get email from the head coach. All the ones we emailed, I mean, all the ones we recruited, contacted. All right. Following day to set your roster, would you like to stop to make cut or adjust red shirts? No. Man, look at this. We've got the New Mexico State Aggies. We've got Texas. This is going to be rough. Let's get weeks three training for Marie. Let's work on his awareness and his speed and quickness. Web, let's work on strength and vertical. Let's post play. Doyle. Keep working on his shooting and his defense. <clears throat> Bucky. Speed and quickness. 
Where's this hustle stat? Let's work on his defense. Rebounding. McElroy. Ferdinand. Let's get that shooting going. better. Let's get shooting and defense for him. Ernest Crisp. Keep the shooting going. Isaiah Hall. Get side and rebounding. Get that strength. Jimenez, give me that inside scoring, with that strength. Goff, not going to play much, so we'll get his shooting and all attributes. Irvin, all attributes and his shooting. Bosahan. Still work on that shooting. All attributes. And Lori. I'll give him a balanced all around diet. Alright, I'm going to leave this running. I will be right back in 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Now, one more week of recruiting here. We'll get into a game. So once we contacted Staples, so what did Showing these guys, wow. Tyron Borges, we've got to. Should we offer him a scholarship? <laughs> Visit him at home. Mike Wells. Charles DeWitt. Demetra Staple. Let's scout his game. <clears throat> Vadim Hornsby. Let's scout his game. Give him a phone call. Let's give him a phone call. Let's give him a phone call. And the Dean Horns be a phone call. Give everyone an email from the coach. Oh, a 
man. <laughs> the percentages are going up. Sixtieth at his position. That's not bad. This guy can do a lot. Go to development for next week. Well, should we try bonus drill? <coughs> Grab rebound for Bucky Morris. That this should be a drill I can handle. Plus defensive rebound. Oh. Went up a whole point. No, oh no, 26, 27 percent. <laughs> Not bad. So let's try. Block all the way down to 70, but what are you gonna do? Wide open, what? Give me that. Give me that. Oh. Uh, I'm this, this one too. Oh, you scum. <laughs> Get me with that head fake. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. I can still do it. No. <laughs> Ah. Same recipe. Those player drills are brutal. All 
right, so week four. Let's still focus on his shooting. Some of his post play. And the balanced attributes. Web. Like to focus on that. Strength vertical. Doyle. shooting going bro all attributes for him balanced and it's crisp he's got to keep shooting Isaiah Hall let me get some of that post play that rebounding <coughs> Jimenez. Might need him to match up against that dude from UCLA. Alright, we've got our first game coming up. is exciting but we've got to do our recruits well, Demetrius is he's ready to sign let's invite him to campus the coach all three boom Just not much we can do. We make a phone call. Oh. He's got any free time, that's why, because of that visit the campus. Demetra Staple. Well, we might get a nice shooting soft touch big man out of the deal. You guys ready for this? I don't know if I am. Mexico State. Let's save. They're one and one. All right. Before I start this game, I'm gonna do something. I will be right back and cut the video here and come right back. I think. Alright, so let's do a little bit of scouting. I noticed this as I was looking at the conference. Best defender in the conference is Webb, best pro prospect is Webb, and the best freshman is Webb in our Big West Conference. So let's look at the Texas A&M Aggies. What conference are they in? Mexico State, right? Let's look at the um, team stats by the NCAA. <coughs> Alphabetized. That's 
not good. New Mexico State. They give up more points in their score. Let's look at their player stats. Alright, he's injured, thankfully. Shamal Goya. Don't worry about their center. Red-shirted senior, small forward, and the rest is a bounce attack, so their biggest scorer is out injured for our game. The Brazilian phenom is, I guess, Bonfim, so we have to watch out for the center position and the small forward. Oh, Weatherspoon is injured too. They have a seven-footer on the team. Give us some problems from Tasmania. And look at these guys. Weatherspoon was getting 26 minutes per game, and Goya was getting 31, so they have some big shoes to fill there. Let's do it. Mmm. They're still really good. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna have to play the game of our lives in the first season of the game on the season. First game of the season. If you see Davis Aggies, go up against the New Mexico State Aggies. This one promises to be a real battle. Hello basketball fans. We're here at the Pan American Center. I'm Vern Monquist with my partner Bill Rafter sideline reporter Tracy Wilson give us your take Bill I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot a day is a top-notch power forward he's got impressive ball handling ability for a big fella he's just as comfortable facing up as posting up McElroy is also a capable power forward he's got that special knack for finding the open man and he can pick defenses apart all right so they're balanced because to lead their teams to a win. they're all good Whereas we're balanced. <laughs> Not very good. Oh man, in Texas or in New Mexico State. UC Davis gets the tip and we're underway. They're starting this one off with Miniman. McElroy dishes it to the right. Throws it up. Pop card in the right block by Marie. And it's still all tied up. Zero. Oh, it's nice play. And it's scooped up by Webb. The D was really waiting for him there. Oh, he fouled me. A weather spoon is playing. I guess they're playing injured. Shooting. <laughs> we'll really get into the the mode of this game here. Heartbeat is pulsing in my controller. Good on number two. A Davey inbound. Whoever brings it up, that's I got Goya. Goya tosses it up court. A Davey catches it far side. Goya is their big scoring shooting guard. Passes out left. Huff gets it left wing. But he's playing a little injured. Only a few seconds left of the shot clock. Outright. A Davey tosses it up. Knocks it down to They're up two to one. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Thanks, Vern. A little while ago, I talked with the head coach. He told me that they want to use their quickness to their advantage. He said they couldn't think of another squad that could match their team's speed. And he wants right. to make sure that shows tonight by getting out on the break and showing how fast this game can be played. Guys? Thank you, Tracy. Bounces it to the wing. So I think we've got to play fast and loose. A Davey. We want to keep up with these guys. Mm. 
Marie dumps it off, feeds it to the baseline. Takes it up. Collected inside by Webb. Takes it up. Give me one. Oh. If we're going to have to fight like that for every basket, we're in for a rumble. Went for a rumble in the jungle, or we're just gonna get blown out. Either one. But Webb is up for the challenge. Under 18 minutes left in the half. Seem like himself out there. Catches it, top of the key, one feet. Oh man, do they miss? Marie passes it to the right. Webb hands it off. Backs in. Ah, try to draw another foul. Spotted out of here quicker than it came in. That'll make the highlight real. Picked clean. Stolen. The break is on. Goes up. M1. Yeah, boy. Woo! Web with the left hand to finish. And all five points so far. Oh my gosh. If we can get this six man out of it. Be doing all right. Inbounds the ball. Under seven minutes left in the half. And we have to hope our really bad defense holds up. Right side. Dishes to the right wing. Huff from 17 feet out. They missed one. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Kicks it out to the wing. Oh. Gets the go -ahead bucket. They're now up by three. Bucky hits a three. Brings it up court. Thought that was Muhammad Doyle. <laughs> Bucky can shoot that. Here's the spin move. Goya gets it left wing. Lob down low. Bonfeet backs him down. Back to home. Inbounds the ball. crowd is quiet. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Miniman. Marie shoots it. Nails the hook. Take that all day. Now out in front by three. About 15 and a half minutes left in the half. Here's the trap. Has it oh. left? Weatherspoon beats it to the right side. Goes up. Dang. As Marie, I tried to get down there and swipe it away. <clears throat> I want to keep that sixth man as quiet as possible, though. Hopefully, he misses this. Miss it. Miss it. He can't come away with a three. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Come on, Bucky. To the elbow. Huff. Backs down. Skips it down low. Holland takes it up. Good for the fadeaway. They lead by one. Beat him down the floor, Bucky. Dicey pass. Led him nicely with the dish, and it's laid in by Morissette. They're in front, 13 to 12. Uh. Colin has it, baseline. They're going to double team him. Yes. McElroy gets the tie up. The <coughs> offense is going to keep it with the possession Looks arrow. Looks like Finn Baker. <laughs> There's an old school NBA reference. Finn Baker. Huff inbounds the ball. 
Great pass. And they're just shooting right over top of us. It's a dogfight so far. Dumps it inside. Yeah, three, three seconds. seconds. Sitting in the paint. And the ref's going to call him for it. Right around 14 minutes left in the half. <sighs> Holland. Well, corrals the miss inside. Nine times out of ten, he makes that. A little off, but not enough to deter him the next time. Puts it up. There you go. He's Practice paid off. That's long too, though. <sighs> go for their silly pump fakes. Baker passes to the free throw line. Takes the shot. Throws the long three. They take a two point lead. Left side. Dishes it to the baseline. Well, from seven. He's wide open. Morissette. Bucky. Takes it up. Bucky Morissette. It's killing it. Under 13 minutes left in the half. <clears throat> Quieting this crowd early. Holland. Beats it to the top of the key. Baker gets it top of the key. Oh man, he can't just be shooting right over top of us. Coach Davis saw something out there. He wants to make some adjustment. He burned his time out to get his players' attention. I can put it on the floor. Their spoon. After basket, we want to bring a full court press. We've got to be better with our defense. Ferdinand in there. <sighs> Blood better, I guess. Let's give for our little Jimenez some minutes. He's seven one. Well, let's get back to the <sighs> Davis may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives him a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Passes right wing. Dang it. By New Mexico State. I'd love to see that. He was looking around then pounced. Such a deep burn. The crossover. Hooked away. Give me that. Cookies. Cookies. He showed great hands on that steal. Boom. Ledbetter showing the hops. Just snatched it away from him. Bonfi. That dunk will quiet the crowd a bit. Baker passes to the high post. Left wing. Oh, you should have picked that off, Toil. Got your back. Got your back. Baker skips it to the high post. Solid D. Solid D. You got help. Baker dumps it off. Trailer has it left side. Oh! I was jumping at the point guard. He dished it real quick, saw me coming. Let's hope the big man can't shoot a free throw. He makes the first. It's a rough and tumble game thus far. 
Web needs a breather already. He's been putting in work. He gets them both. Williamson inbounds the ball. They're set up in Nineveh. Now who do I go to? Feeds left wing. Williamson. Buck. Oh, William Ferdinand. Thought that was Bucky again. New Mexico State has had serious oh, no, put that pressure on interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. The head coach is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the Ferdinand's game. Ferdinand's at the four, Doyle's at the three. Marie's at the two. Here, All right, Tracy. Catches it on the corner. Baseline. Baker from 17 feet out. Sinks it. It is Vinny Baker. <laughs> Hilarious. Let's give the big man a, a look inside. Backs down. Fades away on the inside. Jumper. Just over ten minutes left in the half. He worked hard for that shot, but the defender worked just a little bit harder. <laughs> Baker gets it right wing. The reincarnated Vinnie Baker, except he's a shooting guard instead of a power forward. Catches it, right wing. Baker passes it to the top of the key. Good D. Out left, passes it to the baseline. Reeled in. Good board. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Marie uses the crossover. Ah, it looks so easy. It was fouled. Believe me, it takes tremendous athleticism to pull that off. A Davy. Ah, gotta make him earn it at the line. I had a mismatch. Shooting <sighs> Can't sink the first. Sweet. The Aggies are making a few lineup changes. Gotta get Webb out there. He sinks the second. The Aggies will bring some starters back in. Well, it hasn't been a blow so far, Williams so that's a plus. With the big man the bang down there. Dish baseline from 18 feet away. Ferdinand. Drilled by Williamson. But they still trail by one. A Daffy ends it off. Ferdinand's my guy off the bench. Six man. Ah! Huh. Oh, went for the steal. Thought I had it. They're leading 26 to 23. Morissette goes up. Morissette! And they now trade Bucky! <laughs> Bucky is killing y'all. Oh, cookies! Give me that! Give me that! To give them the lead. Oh! Gets the rebound. How about the hustle of the little guys? Pulling it away from the big fellas. Has it right wing. Huff dishes. Give me that. Perimeter. Oh, we're playing ferocious D. Dumps it down low. The shot blocked by Jimenez. He it to the top of the key. Weatherspoon can't get the three-pointer to fall, but they're still up by one. Oh, that was bad. That shot so beautifully. That was bad. Went to go up and get that one. Wonderful okay, we playing inspired basketball, baby. Oh, what am I doing? On the elbow. Lucky we didn't get burned there. Nice. Give me that. Give me that. Lead better. Playing a big game. Give me that lead. Give me that lead. Woo! They need a timeout. Lead better is killing it. <laughs> oh, I'll keep 
Jimenez out there, man. He's 7-1. He's not tired. Keep it up. Let's get that defense going, man. We can score on them. Well, let's get back to keep that defense going. He's needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Bucky can hustle his way on defense, and Jimenez is just 7-1, man. He can block. He can just be big down there. Bonfi inbounds the ball. Something I probably never would have done in my previous college hoop playthroughs, which shows I've learned a bit. Just put a big guy in like that, even if he's not too skilled. To the free throw line. Get that crap out of here. Back out. Led better. Oh, Jimenez has a bounces it to the right wing. Big mismatch. Jimenez backs him down. Tipped away. Shoots. Bucky. Oh. They got Bucky Morissette. Just haven't looked back. About six and a half minutes. We're on a back. run. Three point lead. <laughs> What a win this would be to start the season. I'm not expecting it, but if we could, Hands it off. this would be a huge win. Blocked by Jimenez. You have to protect the lane, and that's paying they off. Tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Williamson Reward the big man down low. Nice move. Got a hand on it. Ah, uh, sh shoot. I tried to do a drop step. I pressed the wrong button. Get it out of there, big fella. Getting excited. In that time, they tried to sneak one through. I got him. The big guy has spoken. Let's try to get Webb a shot. Cross court goes to the crossover. Dishes Beautiful the ball wing. movement. Uh, Ferdinand uncharacteristically came up short on that. Led better. He ran him over. Oh, good try to draw foul. It wasn't a shooting foul. Try to draw a charge. And I'll run with the squad for a minute. Let's get Bronson McElroy back in there. Jimenez is tired. Give me that. Oh, he scored over Jimenez. It looks like they're playing man -man. Passes to the baseline. Well, has it real second by Shoot. Was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three second call. Mackle so set for long. Trying too hard to get it to web. The Aggies can get back in the lead with a basket here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Could have tried to stall it a couple times there. Steal it. Collins. We're just trying to play sound, defense fundamental defense. No way. The offensive rebound by Collins. No way. Either team can find a way to pull away from the other. Backs in. Right wing. Raises up. Burning in. They now lead by one. Just over four minutes left in the half. Dishes it to the right side. Shoot, that was all my problem right there. Sizing up his man. Oh, I should have shot that. Ledbetter. Skips it to the wing. Webb hangs in the air. Mm, what a shot. Highlight reel. Goya brings it up the floor. And I like lead better. Skip pass. Far side. Even though they're playing with some injuries. Catches it. Right wing. Doing a good job. Oh. Can't convert. McElroy, I thought he would have blocked that. See, that's why we need Jimenez down there. They got big boys. 
All right, Ledbetter, you did a great job. Look at this shot. He can't get the position. Both teams will make some substitution on the court. Iron Hall. Do that. Come on, get a rebound, y'all. Can't let him get those easy points. This is what the fans came to see. What a game! Marie dumps it off. Webb tosses it up. Connects from long range. And they lead by two. Right around three minutes left in the half. Swings it to the wing. They can't handle our pressure, but they can handle our half court defense. A Davey. Uh -oh. Passes it to the baseline. The spin Come on, move. poke that ball away while they're in there. Colin catches it on the free throw line. Dumps it to the middle. Missed shot in the paint by a Davey. He'll usually drop a shot like that. Don't count on him to miss it again. Well. <sighs> Gets it top of the key. Marie beats it to the left wing. Right wing. Doyle. Nice little cross. Doyle. Uh -huh. I'll take it. It's not his game, but we'll take it. Oh, but Doyle is not an off the dribble kind of guy. He makes the first season on the ball. Make his first stand off the bench. Paul's a big boy. Get in here. Kind of looks small next to number 32, but. He gets the second to fall as well. Holland inbounds the ball. 2.09 left in the first half. That's right. Pressure them. Minutes remaining. Two minutes. You can't get me with that pump fake. Dishes it to the strike. Baker. Ah, shoot. McElroy gets the board inside. With nobody around, he still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. Last play off the mark by Marie. Leads him in. Takes it up. Mm. Pass inside. It's dumped home by Baker. But they're still behind by two. Pass it. Webb backs him down. Shoots from the post. Minute left. I just gotta take a little break here and we'll get we'll get Ferdinand back in. I don't think Chris can play in a game like this. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna cut it out for a second. I'll be right back. Click. We are back. Adafi inbounds the ball. One yeah, Doyle. left in the first half. It's not the best defender. Huff has it baseline. Oh, nice block. Snags it. Bucky. Williamson went after that rebound hard. Great. Oh, no, that was Ferdinand. Goes up. <sighs> by Give me that. They still got a four point lead. Pass right wing. It's deflected. Oh, Tried Try to lob it in. Give me the oh what how'd he recover that? There was three of us there. 
Oh, he's Weatherspoon. He's got skills. Can't give him that, man. Williamson holds it in. That's his third rebound of the contest. With the shot. It would have counted, but the buzzer beater was missed by Williamson. But they still lead by four. First half comes to an end with the score 40 to 36. What a high scoring game. How about the happenings in the first half, Bill? If we don't see some improvement soon, this could be even further out of reach. They need to make some adjustments. Lucky Morris have playing out of his mind. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Webb is the guy for me, Vern. Look at this scoring display. He hasn't been afraid to put it on the deck and take it to the tin or pull up from deep and knock down the jumper. A fantastic display. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. All right, let's look at the coach's notes here. Even with our tendencies, we're not getting enough points in transition. We're doing terrible on the offensive glass. Hardly any turnovers on our side. The pressure's there, but it might not be enough. We can play some bench players, but our best five can still manage through this one. We already played tight defense, but we're faster. Let's try to tighten it even more. We're more athletic team. We should run more fast breaks. Our Jim and Egg's legs are dead. Give them a little rest. We're not going to the charity stripe enough. Need to attack more. I agree. All right, so we're going to crank up this defensive pressure. Full court press, always. Pick him up full court. Baker. Nick Collins is killing his bond theme. I like Ledbetter's three steals. Alright, how do I... Get my starters back in now. Williamson isn't a starter. Well, maybe he should be. Let's start the, the half with Ransom Jimenez at the five. We're all set to begin the second half, so let's get back into it. I'm trying to do this with a cigarette in my hand. Not good. Skips it to the baseline. Doyle shoots it. Jimenez snatches the rebound. Jimenez. My boy Ransom. Let's go down Open to Tracy Ransom, who has an update for us. Well, at halftime, I talked with Coach Davis. He told me that he thinks it is going to take a different approach this half for them to hold on to this lead. Coach said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Guys? Thanks, Tracy. This I should have said it better myself. Goya gets it right corner. Perfect. 
Leads him with the pass. Oh, that was terrible. That was just terrible. We got lucky. They're going to play off you that much. Fire away. This is the long one. They've still got a four point lead. Catches it on the inside. And the last layup is broken by Huff. With the D just standing around, it's just too easy. You know he's dropping that one in. And one. Whoo. He got the step on him. Webb doesn't have blinding speed. He's got enough. He gets to his spots. Oh no, Jimenez is giving them problems. Oh! Very personal. I like Ransom Jimenez, man. He's 7 1. He's a big fella. They have to start, get out or bring Nick Collins back in or Collins. I don't know their first names. Ransom's also going to get the call against. Good on number two. Adafi inbounds the ball. UCLA. Can't see where my center is. Down there in case he needs a swat a shot. We'll keep going to Raul, right man. Wing. I mean ransom. Bounces it to the corner. Weatherspoon. Passes. Left side. Pulls up from the elbow. Jimenez. Look at how high he gets for that inside. board. Under 18 minutes left in the second half. Great rebound. The big fella's not afraid to do the dirty work, Vern. Webb. Has it right wing. Doyle lets it Finally. Knocks it down from three point land. He's one for three from deep. That's what we're not paying you to do, but that's what we want you to do. Weatherspoon passes it up. Court. Oh, get on my guy down here. Weatherspoon skips it to the high post. Fires. Off the left rim and out by Goya. The Aggies. Oh, that was bad. Double digit lead. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch. Feed the big man. It. Backs down. Outright. Jimenez kicks it out. Bucky, can wing. he do it again? No. Morris Jimenez. Oh. He might have been thrown off by how wide open he was. And I wasn't sure if Bucky could do it again. Holland. Catches it inside. They're bringing the double team. She stole that. The key. Marie corrals the miss. Still a double digit game. Marie. Turning some offense here. Doyle's calling for it in the it post. Right Give it to him. Doyle dumps it to the inside. They're bringing the double team. Jimenez was just sitting in the paint. And the ref's going to call him for a substitution. Didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Huff inbounds the ball. Oh, eight-point lead. Yeah, boy. Good defense, Webb. Obviously, that could have been avoided. That's just one of those mental mistakes. Neither of us are playing much D. We're playing a little bit more. It's been an offensive showcase. Jimenez passes to the left. Doyle backs in. Pulls the trigger. Webb Good shot, Webb. Inside. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He He's knew fouled. right where to be. He's out of the line, though, is he? Yeah. Ooh. We're in the penalty. Webb hitting the offensive glass. Oh. The first. Should have increased his free throw rating. I'm a better free throw shooter.
Can't have him too overpowered in his first year, though. He sinks the second. Holland inbounds the ball. Ah, that was my screw up. That's your back, boy. Bounce pass to the stripe. Goya. Huff snatches it down inside. Tried to box him out, but I didn't get there in the right position. Tried to box him out with Webb. Goya dishes to the top of the key. Top of the key. Passes it back to the top of the key. Baker. Good D, boy. Huff catches it. Top of the key. Good D, Swing fellas. Back. Left wing. Keep it out of the middle. Baker. To put an end to the run. Oh, that was a tough shot. Vinny Baker can shoot. Second chance points. And Tracy has a report. Coach Davis could be heard just now very loudly criticizing his team for its work on the boards. He was yelling, get after those rebounds. But after yet another offensive rebound, playing his own. he might need to yell a little louder. Boom! Last three ball is drained by Doyle. At this level, you have to be able to match your opponent. Well, we've seen them trade threes. Now, can He went backboard again. Webb. He's the best defensive player in the conference. Made some changes that could affect their chemistry a little bit. Mexico State trying a new lineup. Played together very often. Morris set inbounds the ball. Bold pass. Backs him down. Jimenez puts it up. Can't extend the lead to double digits. I was hoping for a hook shot there, but I didn't press the right button again. Not a fadeaway jumper from Ransom Jimenez. Gets it left wing. Your back. Tries the spin move. Takes it up. He's shooting 50% for the game. Under 14 minutes left in the second half. Like when we play zone and we can bust it with our three-point shooting. Cross court. Webb backs down. Post him right Skips back up. The right wing. Jimenez, get out of my way. Jimenez. Right yes. Jimenez. He's got five. Swings it to the right wing. Gosling Ransom playing big. He's too big for them out there. Even for their big boys, he's too big. Right wing. Poke that away in traffic. Baker gets it right wing. I'd be swiping. And they get in traffic like that. Left wing. <clears throat> Baker releases. Can't get the oh, and Menace is too big. Just enough pressure on him to make him alter his shot and force the miss. Let's run a little offense. Give it to him. It down low. Goes up. Oh, Ransom Jimenez quieting the crowd. We found a new nuclear weapon, and his name is Ransom Jimenez. Is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. We'll make subs at the next break. Our guys are dead tired. We'll get Jimenez out if he makes this. He's off on the second. New Mexico State needs to cut down on the turnovers. And Tracy is near their bench. Tracy? The head coach stood in front of the bench a moment ago and said, if we can't hold on to the ball any better than this, there is no way we can win this game. He's trying to get his message across loud and clear. Thanks, Tracy. The Aggies, all timeout. 
We've got shooters at the any defense with this squad. Well, it looks like you're getting set to inbound the ball. Because <sighs> we're a little smaller. Williamson inbounds the ball. Williamson catches it on the elbow. Can't give him that. Should have made that. Oh, they got their big boy in there. Skip pass, right side. Baker behind the arc. Penny Baker. Getting this crowd going. Williamson swings it to the wing. McElroy catches it down low. Almost a three. Take it. We're getting to the line. We're being aggressive. We've got to make these though. We need some. Need to quiet this crowd down a bit. Our six man hasn't been in it all game. We definitely cannot let them in it in the second half. He gets them both. Adafi inbounds the ball. Dishes right wing. Trailer gets it on the elbow. Adafi passes to the corner. It's shameful to get any. Baker is killing us. Bounces it to the baseline. Doyle passes back to the right. Marie throws it up. And he remains ice cold. They still have a three-point lead. Who's guarding Baker, man? You gotta get on that guy. Gosling has it right wing. He's just firing away. Now they're snapping up the ball right. around a bit. Oh, Back Baker's down. out. No, there he is. Trailer. Ledbetter's a good defender. Beats it to the left wing. Gosling hands it off. Trailer. Is it in anyone's strike. hands besides that last 19 foot shot was off target? Whew. Crashing the boards. Under we should be able to run a bit. Second half. Bounce pass. Left wing. Williams. Ferdinand's got a small Next on him. Down. He's double teamed. Catches it down low. Top of the key. Fires. Boom. They push their lead to five. I did that because he had a small defender on him. Oh, my bad. I came for the half court trap. Shoot, I'm making too many mistakes. Launches one from beyond the arc. Snatched inside by Gosling. I don't think we'll miss many more of those looks. Adafi takes it up. Laid in with the D. Drake going away. They cut it to one. Skips it cross court. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh oh, here comes the six man. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that. We're right back in the game. How 
to get back on D, guys. Well, let's get back to the teams are making a few lineups. Guess they got Baker out of there. Get out of here, mascot. Webb Webb's at the, the three now. I have to remember that. Williamson. Stolen <laughs> away by New Mexico State. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in. Oh, man. UC Davis has been on the wrong side of this long run. And Tracy's got a report for us. Coach Davis is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. All right, Tracy. Goes to the crossover. Nice shot missed by Webb. Just throw it down. His coach is going crazy on the sidelines. Six man is rocking now. Weatherspoon bounces it to the left side. We need to stop. Yes. Oh. It's recovered by New Mexico State. Left wing dumps it to the paint. Nice. by UC Davis. A three-point spread on the scoreboard. Wonderful. Yes. Way to attack the rim. Ledbetter. What's Ledbetter's first name? Ernest Ledbetter. We need to quiet this crowd. He makes the first. It came back in a flash. He gets the second to fall as well. A Davy inbounds the ball. Weatherspoon passes it to the wing, hands it off. Weatherspoon has it on the elbow. Should have seen what his injuries were. Huff. Goya, Goya, I don't think has scored. Catches it, cross court. Playing injured. Block. Get trigger. that out of here. This is the three after the nice pump thing. But they still need by one. Ah. Stolen away by Adafi. Talk too soon. He exactly what he wanted to do. And when he got the chance, he pounced for the steal. Far side. Dishes it to the Going right fighting corner. them and their crowd. Marie ah. gets the reach in for that will be his second foul of the game. Substitution. Oh. is back in the game after a short rest. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach. Bonfi inbounds the ball. Did they bring Baker back? Goya. Bounces it to the right wing. Weatherspoon has it top of the key. Oh. Yeah, Bonfim, shoot a three. Holland backs him down. Bonfim bangs it off the front of the rim and out. They're still up by one. Let's try to get Webb a shot here. Takes it up. Yes. This unit out there is playing good D. And he'll come away one of two. New Mexico State is showing us a little bit of a different look, it would seem. 
Tracy Wilson has a report on just Good. that. Hopefully that luck Tracy. is... The Aggies just had a little meeting of the minds among the coaching staff, Vern. A lot of yelling about being too deliberate on offense, taking too long to get shots off. I sense Vern Give me that. a much faster pace from here on out. Left side. Backs in. Passes to the baseline. Marie to take the lead. How many times have we seen Let's that? Let's try to try foul. Time after time, someone is coming up with a great rejection. Weatherspoon dumps it off. A Dafee. Gives it to Don't the give Huff an open J. Alright, I just want to make sure I'm recording right now. I was. Alright. So I'm closing the game out with right here. Let's do it, guys. Getting substitutions down the road. The Aggies will make some substitutions. We've got Ferdinand at the four. I have to remember that. Williamson inbounds the ball. Webb catches it right wing. Reels mm. it in. Lead pass to the inside. No, oh, the tip. Established position right around four minutes left in the second half. Doyle Jimenez wants it. Jimenez beats it to the left. Led better with a big shot. Nothing but net, but they're still down by two. Holland hands it off. Weatherspoon goes up, misses, but had to foul him. It's not expecting him to blow by me like that. Well, the scoring has slowed down a lot in this half. Come on, be a bad foul shooter. <laughs> Keep it a one possession game. We've got Doyle, Ferdinand. I know what to do. This team with the game on the line. That'll quiet their crowd a bit. Left wing dishes to the baseline. Ah. Uh. Huff backs in. Passes it to the elbow. I gotta find a way to get Webb some shots. Huff has it on the low block. Dang it. it. Foul. Killing us on the glass. Ferdinand, you got a rebound. Is this guy? Oh, he's a terrible foul shooter. His bars aren't lit up. Miss it. Miss it. He misses the first. They could have put this game long reach by now with foul shots. Now I have to come in and crash this board with Webb. Just to make sure we secure this rebound. Those are missed opportunities, especially in a game this close. He's probably not the guy they picked to be at the line, and you can see why. Ledbetter dumps it off. Bounce pass. Outright. Doyle. The crossover. Has it top of the key. Wow. 
Ledbetter dishes it to the elbow. Doyle for the lead. Maybe next time. They're still down eight. Ah. Uh, still down eight. I'm down two, bro. Beats it to the left Should side. be down eight. Raises up. Makes it up. He gets hammered. Getting killed on those boards, man. Oh, they miss again. Maybe he's crashing the board slash transition defense. Maybe that applies for... No, it won't apply for defensive boards. Huff can shoot, too. Alright, we need a big shot. him down. Doyle. Not free, but it's recovered by UC Davis. Passes. Williamson takes the Oh, down. if he Jeff missed that. Wilson. He's five for nine for the game. Oh, and stolen. Ledbetter. Ledbetter fouled. Just Another steal by Ledbetter is fourth. Amazing. I like lead better a lot. It down. Oh my gosh. That could not have been He's a clutch free throw shooter. He knocked him down, but you said practice. Stealing. I'm rolling with this team. Tempted to put Bucky in for defensive purposes. Ferdinand. You know what? No, we're going to need Ferdinand. If he gets an open shot, we're going to have to take it. Well, it looks like gonna I was going to go defense. Bronson McElroy. Huff inbounds the ball. Silent. Gets it right side. Weatherspoon dumps it to the middle. Blocked by Jimenez. His third. Those are the kind of plays that win you ball games. Get uh dang it. I thought I was open. Now the crowd's loud. Uh, Web doesn't need much help here. Passes it to the free throw line. Goya from about No, not over lead better. And they have to foul. One and one. This is why I left Ferdinand in. Not a great foul shooter, but come on, bro. Nice. I hit this one and we're golden. Oh. All blooded indeed. New Mexico State calls timeout. All right, we need a defensive team on. So I'm gonna go Ledbetter Web. Bronson McElroy. Bucky Morissette. Oh, Bronson. Fresh Felton Murray. Well, let's get back to the 
the Aggies will get a few of their starters back in the game. This Webb's at the three now. A Dafey inbounds the ball. No threes. Bounces it to the corner. Weatherspoon has it outside. I'm gonna leave my man to make sure he doesn't get a three. Stolen! He was trying to Yes! <laughs> we are gonna do it! First game of the season, a huge test against New Mexico State. And they're in the double bonus. All I have to do is hit this one and this thing's over. And that is it. The UC Davis Aggies, 71, New Mexico State Aggies, 67. New Mexico State, 71 to 67. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Wasn't a great game for Webb, but it was a great game for Webb. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac game-changing performance. Getting into an offensive rhythm is a huge advantage for a team, and that played a factor in this game. The UC Davis Aggie jumped off to a big run after knocking down this shot. That was a big game. shot by Ledbetter. In tempo from the run, they were able to parlay it into a victory. Okay, thanks, Greg. My game ball this goes to Ernest Ledbetter. Tracy Wilson and Bill Raftery. Glad you were here with us for College Hoops 2K8. Definitely. Ledbetter with all his steals and his breakaway dunks. Oh, we shot some. We didn't shoot as good as them. 19 of 26 from the free throw line, though. They were 4 for 13. And we actually rebounded better than them, surprisingly. Less turnovers, more steals. Jimenez with three big blocks. Kind of even. They had more second chance points, which killed us. Vinny Baker, if they left him out there, it would have been a different story. The big guys, Collins and Adafi, hurt us. We shut their backcourt down pretty good, but again, they're playing injured, so. Bucky had all those early points, but didn't play much after that. Ferdinand had a quiet 12 and 5. Led better with 11 and 4 steals. He was awesome. Jimenez with, look at that stat line. 6 points, 6 boards, 3 assists, a steal, and 3 blocks. He's getting more time. In 20 minutes. Doyle was a nice 8, 2, and 2. Murray didn't shoot well, but he did other things very well. <sighs> Son, what were those injuries? He was playing with a dislocated finger and a patellar tendonitis. Man, big for him playing with a dislocated finger. Whew. Hmm. We follow up with freaking Texas, the 18th ranked team. We do our recruiting for the week. 120 points, but we can't really do much. <clears throat> wow, what a game. Alright, so I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, we're going to adjust the lineups a little bit. rotations. I think Bronson McElroy might get a few more minutes. A few less minutes. Ledbetter's going to get more minutes. 
Ernest Crisp is going to come down to five. Well, Jimenez is on a hot streak. He's going to see more minutes. Got one minute left. It's lead better. Awesome. So I'll save and once again. Thanks for watching me pull off the upset. Texas is going to be even way harder. Whew. Let's see if we can do it at Texas. What a win that would be. So uh, I'll see you in that game. And stay tuned, any everybody, for a wild season. It's already a wild game one. It's going to be a wild season. So hope you stay tuned. Peace out, everybody.